Talent Talk Tuesdays is all about harnessing your God-given talents to live with greater clarity, purpose, and joy. You are wonderfully made, my friends. May all we do be for God's glory. Hello and welcome. I'm Lisa Malatnik, your host, and today on Talent Talk Tuesdays, I'll be discussing part four of a 10-part series based on my free ebook, which you can download at my website. It's called 10 Ways Your Talents Can Transform Your Life. Last week in episode 34, I talked about having greater confidence through an understanding of the goodness of your gifts and their natural capacity for excellence. And today I'm talking about a fourth way your talents can transform your life by helping you experience much greater intimacy with God. Now, I previously talked about intimacy with God in episode 10, Encounter God in Your Design. That's the title. In that episode, I shared some extremely important personal insights from when I explored my own talents for the first time. In fact, at that time, I was finally able to pinpoint and embrace the parts of me, as it turns out, that were important places where God already met me in my design. They were ways I had always experienced intimacy with him and which I could identify and recognize as part of his purpose in my design. And those parts of me more and more have become familiar and reliable pathways for encountering him again and again. These are interior places that I am absolutely convinced our loving Lord wove into my being for encounters with his love, and I treasure them. And I think everyone should find out what your particular points of connection are in you, in your gifts. And then in episode 11, which I called Unshackling Your Greatest Gifts, I shared my conviction that our spiritual enemy, the devil, attacks our greatest gifts without mercy throughout our lives. In fact, our worst fears, our biggest areas of false shame, are often attached to our most powerful gifts. Stop and think about that. What are you gifted at? What do you love most, daydream about, long for? Ask God to show you the lies that have wounded those talents and gotten you into the habit, perhaps, of minimizing them or hiding them altogether. And in episode 11, I also touched on how understanding the reality of the enemy's strategy to snuff out your light, but being able to name and claim your talents can help you release false shame and the lies that keep you from living fully in God's beautiful design. So today I'd like to continue this critical conversation by starting with the fourth paragraph of my ebook. I'll read it to you. As you grasp the significance of God's creative design of your authentic being, you will be able to meet him in prayer in new ways that you might never have explored before. Just as each of the saints shared the unchanging truths of the Catholic faith but lived out a unique spiritual pathway to the Lord, God has laid unique pathways for each of us to meet him in powerful and personal ways. Whether your gifts are intuitive or cerebral, action-oriented or reflective, or like most of us, a combination. Embracing each gift as holy can open new doors to experiencing the presence of God, of meeting him powerfully in the design he has created just for you. And again, that's from my ebook. But what a joy. To be able to say without doubt that every part of our design is loved by God, inhabited by him, and invites us to greater communion with him. Which reminds me of St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. In chapter 3, he starts by describing his own unique mission to the Gentiles. And then he waxes poetic about the beautiful mysteries and, quote, manifold wisdom of God. Then... He says to the Ephesians in verses 14 to 21, For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. 
now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine by the power at work within us, to him be glory. There's this sense of awe when I read St. Paul's letters. He seemed to appreciate the great mystery of the presence of God within each of us in a special way. St. Paul clearly knew that each of us is capable of embracing God's powerful presence in the interior landscape of our own being. But here's an interesting thought. Why did he muse about this marvel of spiritual intimacy right after sharing about his unique mission? Why does he seem to tie the two together? Mission and intimacy. And then he writes about the mysteries of God's wisdom and about the strength and power, the fullness of God that is found in each and every one of his children. That fullness is in us too. But if we don't know it, we can't embrace it fully. So it behooves us to look within and start to embrace the mysterious, wise, powerful fullness of God's presence in our hearts, our talents, our mission, and the very power that he has woven into us because God's generosity is beyond our comprehension. And his mission and purpose for our lives is powerful enough to accomplish far more than we can imagine. St. Paul says so. So, my friends, I ask you to bring this to prayer. Your homework is to set aside time to contemplate your gifts in a spirit of amazement and gratitude. Write them out or discuss them with a loved one. Take assessments to start naming and claiming your gifts. Ask people you trust to describe the gifts they see in you. And this week, ask God to invite you into deeper contact with him, in his own attributes, in his divine power, his sheltering love, his gentle mercy, his faithfulness, his humor, his creativity, and his glory, and in the attributes that he wove into your very being as reflections of himself, your unique pathways for encountering more and more of your mission and more and more of his love because he wants to meet you in all of your gifts, your powers of thought, your questions, your desire to learn, your relational needs, the ways you pour yourself out for others, your unique ways that you may not even have identified yet of leading, influencing, communicating, reflecting, envisioning, creating, sharing, remembering, achieving, resting, and loving in all that you are, in the very best of your unique design. He is there too, on purpose, calling you deeper into his love. Please read through Ephesians chapter 3 on your own and allow the Lord to strike your heart with awe. And feel free to reach out to me as always at lisa at wonderfullymade139.com. You are wonderfully made, my friends. I'm praying for you. Please pray for me too. St. Paul, pray for us all. God bless you.